Hello everybody, what's going on? It's me, Chris, in the Brick Hub. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Battle on Scarif. This is a Rogue One Lego set. It's at 75171. Its recommended ages are 8 to 14. It has 419 pieces and retails for $50. So this is the same style set as uh, the Battle on Taco Donna, except this one was $10 cheaper, which I like a lot. I definitely like this set more than that one, although they're both pretty good. Uh, I'll go ahead and start with the minifigures, and then move on to the base itself. So the first minifigure we have here is Jyn Erso, and this is her in her uh, Imperial Disguise. She's in the Disguise is like an Imperial Engineer or a ground crew. Uh, you can see she's got her blaster pistol there. You can see the torso and leg printing there, and then the back printing right there. There's her first face, and then her other face is back here. Uh, I definitely like the this face a little bit better. I think that it looks more like she did in the movie. Uh, she does come with a helmet to complete her disguise, which I think looks pretty cool. You, you did also get this minifigure in the um, Die Striker and the Advent Calendar from 2017. But uh, this is a pretty cool minifigure. Alright, next minifigure we have here is the Scarif Stormtrooper. Or the Scarif Shore Trooper. Uh, and you do get two of these guys, but they're exactly the same. So I'll just go ahead and show you this one. You do get that uh, kind of... It's kind of wacky looking, that blaster there. It's um, like the... Um, I believe the Ultra Agents use that blaster along with binoculars. Uh, I do like that like I was trying to make their weapons different, but it looks kind of wacky. Uh, you can see the torso and leg printing. Of course, they have the same helmet printing... Or helmet mold as the... Um, Hover tank pilots or drivers. And of course, you got the clone face underneath there. This is all tan, of course. And there's the back printing there. No arm printing. But uh, this minifigure is definitely very cool. Probably my favorite minifigure from this set. And the final minifigure we have here is Captain Cassian Andor. Uh, this is a really cool minifigure. Definitely like the design. You can see he's got his gunmetal blaster there, along with the uh, like brownish pants with its holster there, and he's got the Han Solo esque uh, jacket along with the shirt underneath. You see very cool printing on those, and there is a little bit of back printing there. There we, you can see, it's just some creases. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you the other face, the other expression. There it is. Uh, it's him looking a little bit more triumphant. Whereas this one is him, where he's kind of upset about something. But that is casting. Alright, so now we're moving on to the set itself. And I'm going to show you all the features in this set. So the first one we're going to start is with the lever here. This is the famous lever that uh, True M Might uses to uh, get the plans to the Death Star. Um, this is kind of a minor thing there. So the first actual feature I'm going to show you, you're going to go ahead and flip either of these. Technic pieces, or both of them, you have to flip to the other side, and then you're going to pull this out. And inside here are some weapons and thermal detonators, so that's really cool. I definitely always get to have more uh, thermal detonators. Alright, um, you can see there's different, there's a tree up here, and there's different you know, branches everywhere. Um, so the next feature I'll show you. I'm actually going to have to move the camera in. Alright, so here's the base itself. So that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and push either of these. That one will pop if you had that one, and this one will pop if you had that one. Just a way to make it kind of an explosion. Uh, it's just these two Technic pieces on either side, and there's more uh, grenades down there. Right. And you got the door here. You're going to open this door by pulling this down, and then you're going to be able to pull out either of these pieces back here, if I can, I'm going to try to show you how it works, but it's going to be a little difficult, you just grab one of those pieces right there, and pull it out, and then of course you just push this one out, or you can pull the uh, one ball plate there, these are both stickers right here, uh, so you can have the minifigures walk through, I'll go ahead and turn this around now, um, back here you can see there's a control panel, as well as the Death Star plans there, there we go, right there, 
and these you can pull off pretty easily. And there you go, you got that. These also came in the Droid Escape pod from, I think, two years ago. So you can put that in the You can put this in the minifigure's hands, have them run out, um, like they did in the movie. Of course, this was at the top of the tower, and they had to transmit it. But, um, you know, still a very cool piece to have. And I think that that is just gonna, is just about gonna do it. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.